is the Portland Police Bureau. Southwest 6th Avenue is open to vehicular traffic. You must immediately vacate the roadway and proceed to the sidewalk. If you remain on the roadway, you are subject to arrest. For disorderly conduct interfering with a police officer and other state and city offenses. Teresa Raper, you have been seen. So just in case you, you didn't read it, here's a part that you might agree with. I thought of you when I read this, actually. And here's what the, his first executive order on the refugees uh, says. The United States should not admit those who engage in acts of bigotry or hatred, those who oppress Americans of any race, gender, or sexual orientation. Do you agree with that? So uh, I'm curious about how that relates to sev the seven countries that was put on the, the travel immigration uh, refugee ban that's currently what, in what, place. What are the, it what just are the seems seven that if you're going to take, uh, you're asking which are the seven countries? Yeah, what are the seven countries? Uh, oh, you've got like Iran, Iraq, I can't list off all of them, uh, but it okay. lists off there are five seven others. countries. Right. There's five others. Uh, I yeah. believe that uh, Turkey's probably on it, Syria's no. on it. Uh, yeah. Okay, well Syria's on okay. it. So what is your formal education background? I guess uh, a lot of people don't know what your undergraduate degree is in. Uh, so I was at uh, UCLA in political science and then uh, Harvard Law School. Okay. Uh, so you don't have, uh, you wouldn't consider yourself an expert in sociology? I, I mean, I, I don't consider sociology a particularly expert field, but go ahead. <laughs> I think I'm able to read a sociological study. Study. But, uh, so you're not necessarily an expert. Yes, there are, lots, there are lots of fields of study. Right. <laughs> well, what I'm getting at is there's a lot of topics. Let's put this way, I know a lot less about welding than I do about sociology. <laughs> uh, what I'm getting at is that you're not considered an expert in sociology, psychology, uh, gender studies, lesbian dance theory, uh, many of these things that you've brought up tonight. Uh, yeah. I know a lot more about all those others than lesbian dance theory. As far as, if you want to take issue with the argument, I would urge you not to use the argument from authority, which is somebody has a PhD by their name, they know what they're talking about. That's a dumb argument. Uh, what I'm trying to get at is that the fact that if you have any other further education in any of these topics or any of these fields of study. I don't need, to, I don't need a, a seven year degree in sociology, no bullshit when I hear it. And granted, that's your opinion. Uh, right. Because I'm here, yeah, giving it. <laughs> that would mean that uh, you're also offering kind of an unqualified opinion on a lot of these topics. See, again, you're just making the argument from authority. I don't think slapping a PhD from Ferris State next to your name makes you an expert in all things in the field in which you propose to speak. Okay, the fact is that either my argument's good or my argument's bad. Citing to my credentials is a really bad way of making an argument. It's, like the, it's actually the equivalent of, it's so funny, when people do this, it's the equivalent of actually a religious person saying, citing to the Bible for an argument. I'm a very religious person, right? I mean, see this? It's the yarmulke, okay? I'm a religious person, okay? I never cite to the Bible. The reason I don't cite to the Bible is because that's an argument from authority, okay? You may not believe the authority to which I'm citing. I don't believe the authority to which you're citing. So you're going to have to make me an argument as to what I'm saying that's wrong instead of just saying I don't have the properly enumerated degree from the institution of your choice. And I am saying that Donald Trump is not only a monster, but he's a coward. We're, talk <laughs> we're, talking, we're talking about um, somebody who is so emasculated by Vladimir Putin that uh -huh. he has to... Right. I'm going to have to stop you there because now, to... now, we're, now we're getting off in no, a no, crazy no, world. That, but... that he has to come back and pick on vulnerable kids. Okay. These kids okay. these kids are the most vulnerable children okay. in the country. Slow down a let's, let's, get, no, let's no. get to the core of the issue. Absolutely. Mind? Look, I get that you're, I'm never going to get you to say that, that Obama should have done it. That's fine. Let's get, move from the politics to the science, because this policy has sure. implications that go far beyond bathrooms and locker rooms. The core question is what constitutes male and female. And the implication of these guidelines that Obama put in place is that a man is someone who says he's a man, and a woman who's, is someone who says she's a woman. You get to decide your gender. You're, there's no biological anchor to sex anymore, it's all determined by the individual. So my obvious question for you is, how do I know if a person's male or female? Is there some other absolute standard that people have to meet to be male or female, other than what they say? 
one, one's gender identity is, is enough to show what gender they are. And so if you're okay. confused about that, I mean, I leave that, you know, to your level of enlightenment and... and, uh, and no, no, this and is, it's, not about, enlightenment. it's it, not about enlightenment. It's not about moral status. This is a real question because there are all kinds of institutions in American life that function on a sex-segregated basis. Women's college, sports, both professional and amateur, prisons. And so you're telling me that I can play on a woman's sports team when I say I'm a woman. Well, we are, what we are saying is that in this guidance with public schools which we're and, and the vulnerable kids that are there, that there are specific guidelines that these teachers and these supervisors and these principals asked for in how to create safe Okay, but now you're going back spaces. to the first question. You but, just but, said but a second ago that gender... But that is what we're talking no. about. No, let me take you back three sentences. When you said gender identity is determined by the person who possesses it. That's mm -hmm. almost exactly what you said. Correct. And, and I'm saying there are massive implications of this that everyone is either too dumb or too embarrassed to explore, but let's do so now. If your sex is what you say it is, then what prevents me from playing on a women's field hockey team? What prevents me from getting convicted of a felony and demanding to go to a women's prison? And it's a real question. It's, it's not a, it's not a real question. Why is it not a real question? It's, it's, it's not a real question because it is pretty absurd, and there are no other wait, 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 examples. Because, because why? There, because there are no examples of this. The, 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 what do you mean? There, there, I'm sorry, but there are no examples. This is the same argument about saying that there, uh, this will allow sexual predators to go into, into women. I'm not into making that argument. Yes, but, yeah, but, you are, but you are making that argument. Okay, what I'm saying is, I just want to know what the standards are. I'm not actually making any claims. I'm merely the, asking the, a question the, the, the and I want you are, to answer. Yes, the standards are Is there are exactly, a scientific exactly standard? Because when you deal with questions of biology, that is a species of science. So what's the scientific standard? I'm a scientist. I want to know if you're a man or a woman. How do I find out? Look, these, these are discussions that, you're, that I, I encourage you to have with someone someone who is transgender and they can come and, and no, talk to you about it. No, I don't need that to speak to a I can speak to you because you think about the stuff for a living. So it's a very simple question. Yes. I want I, to know I, if you're I, a man or a woman. I'm a scientist. How do I find out? Your gender identity determines your gender, period. Okay. So should someone who looks like me, I look like a man, you think I was a man, I say I'm a woman, and I demand to play in a women's sports team, I demand to go to a women's college, I demand a small business administration loan for women-owned businesses. That's a real thing. That's a billion-dollar question, for real. Can you, can you turn me down if I say I'm a woman? The question that is on the table right now is about Title IX. Let's not and, be, and about and about guidance. No, but you want to go off on Title IX applies. It's not a tangent. You, you want, you Title IX applies to, to it tangents? applies and was created yes. around the question of women's sports. So, as a apparent man, if I say I'm a woman, is that enough? Do I meet the standard? as a woman to play in a woman's sports team. This, that this, goes right to Title IX. Don't this, dodge the question. I'm not dodging the question. This is something the Supreme Court is be looking at is going to looking at next, next right. month. And yes, the answer is absolutely yes. Okay. Gender identity determines one's gender. Let me ask you period. this. Period. And this is a this is a matter this is a matter of civil rights. Is there science behind this? Because I know that there's, I'm there's often getting science. Really, absolutely what, science can, I want you to name a single scientist, just one, who says you can determine your own sex just by saying so. Can you name one scientist who says that? I, I, I'd be happy to send you many after uh, a when, scientist when who said you can determine your own sex. An actual scientist, like someone is, who went to college. Listen, Are you, serious? You, you, you clearly have some issues around this. Not an issue which, at which all. I have questions I like. that you can't answer, and you're instead throwing things like you're not enlightened. I'm asking you a sincere question. What's the science behind this? And you're deflecting. Why? I'm, 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 I'm simply not deflecting. This is this is this is this is a matter of set, this is a matter of settled uh, uh, science, and it is something. What's the that, science exactly? That you are what you say you are. Can I change my race too? And, and don't this dodge is, that question. Is, That's a real question. Is, no, no, you cannot. You cannot. Why? Change why can't I change my race, but I can change my sex? What's the difference? It is not about changing. It is not about changing. But why is it? This isn't is about it? inherently who people are. Really? And, what if I say I'm inherently of another race? Who are you to say I'm not? I mean, again, you're, you're getting into these silly hypotheses. It's not silly, silly at all. Two it years is, ago, nobody absolutely. thought you could change your own sex. And you're saying it's, that, well, it's one, settled one science. That is, one that is simply not true. We have had transgender protections uh, in, in this country but for But you haven't explained what transgender, transgender is. You're just saying it's whatever it's, we it's, say it's, it is. You, look, you want to go into this in this right-wing pseudoscience. It's not right-wing at all. It, it is. It absolutely It absolutely. It's pseudoscience, is. right? You name. No, what, you, I will you give are, you $1,000 if you can find any scientist, like an actual biologist, at an accredited American college, willing to come on this show and say, here's the science, here's the state of play of biology 2017, I, I, name your sex I, and that's I, what I it is? You can't. I, I There's don't no understand science. I don't understand why you won't answer the, well, answer the question I'll answer about any why. question always. Excellent. Why shouldn't schools who are asking for it get guidance on how to create safe, inv safe environments for say, all their kids? I would say why that, that guidance exists. It floats on the internet, and if it's merely guidance, 
then the federal government needs no more to do with it. They can well, say, here's well, our well, guidance. Well, if, if, You're if, undermining if, your if, own if, argument, if, which if was weak simply, to begin with. If, 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 it is, <laughs> if, it is, if it is as simple as that, okay. then, why do you, then why do you care so much? Unfortunately, we're out of time. I'm actually enjoying this, <laughs> but I want you to produce the scientists just one. Let's, let's make it Harvard, and I'll give you a thousand bucks. And I'm not attacking anybody, I'm just asking the question.